Just how big can a tree get? Well, stretching a whopping 115.61 metres, Hyperion, a coastal redwood, is the world's tallest tree, higher than the Statue of Liberty. And it may well be nudging the very upper limit of how tall a tree can grow, because researchers think this is around 130 metres, and this is for two reasons. To understand, you need to know how plants move supplies around. Now, in humans, the circulatory system transports oxygen, fuel and water all around the body. But plants have two different transport systems, the xylem and the phloem. The phloem transports sugars that are made during photosynthesis in the leaves, from the leaves, back down through the plant to the roots. While the xylem transports water and nutrients from the roots all the way up through the plant to the leaves. The movement of water is driven by evaporation. So basically, as water evaporates from the leaves, it, that continuous loss pulls more water up through the xylem from the roots. Now, if the tree trunk's short, that's absolutely fine because the water hasn't got very far to go. But the taller the trunk, the further the distance the water's got to go against gravity. Plus, air bubbles can form in the trunk and this can interfere with the stickiness of the water molecules and cause a problem in the continual flow of the water from the roots to the top of the tree. To research this, scientists climbed Hyperion and four other giant coastal redwoods. And what they did was they fired arrows, trailing wires over the trees and then hauled themselves up on ropes. Pretty cool adventure. And what they found at the top was really interesting. The leaves right at the top of the tree were actually in drought, so they lacked water. And so from that, the researchers could work out that the maximum height that water could be carried up a tree was 130 metres. Now, the phloem could also affect tree height because in the stems, branches and trunk, the phloem can become a bit of a bottleneck, a bit like the M25 getting jam-packed with traffic. In shorter trunks, that's not a problem, but in longer trees over about 100 metres, it can become a waste of energy for all these sugars to be created in the top leaves and then not be able to make their way down to the roots. So the problems that tall trees face with moving supplies and water against gravity are very similar to the challenges that architects and engineers face when building a skyscraper. Now subscribe to Headsteam to find out about the engineering of the world's tallest bridge.